I'm building off of my complaint last week, which was, Chad, you missed it. We we, we can see in galaxies deep into the universe, but a security camera remains grainy and there's no distinct qualities to anyone we're actually looking for who walks by a door wearing a hoodie. Just very grainy and the technology does, doesn't match up and equate for me. And it's the same for UFO sightings. Um, I scrolling Twitter this morning, last week, two months ago. You hear about all of these unidentified flying objects, but you don't hear or see any photos from some of the major markets and cities across the globe where the main population resides. We always see these grainy photos from Skinwalker Ranch, Utah, or Groom Lake, Nevada, a hundred miles off the coast of San Diego in the Pacific Ocean, Kelly, Kentucky, and all of these just happen to be taken on a cell phone at best that reaches the qualifications that Chad Withrow keeps in his pocket, not on any of the upgrades that I get and have even if I don't want an upgrade on my iPhone. I want some big-time evidence from the world who sees these things using a device that actually captures this, not just because in, in, in real time, but just a, a single photo. I would take that. The problem is it doesn't exist. That's my primary Why complaint. Why can't Annie Leibowitz be shooting this? So my primary complaint this week, I'll keep it very simple and short. Um, if you were taking reservations or appointments in any way, in the year 2022, and I'm calling out my doctor's office with this, and I love my doctor, and I love everyone that works there. Love, love, love. You need to be able to text someone reminders. You need to be able to shoot them a text, give the reminder that way. That way I don't get four or five calls from different people going on shift that's working as the, front, the person working the front of house at the doctor's office to confirm my appointment. Text, restaurants, doctor's office, text. That's the way to go. That's my primary complaint. My primary complaint is uh, unfortunately going to be the wave of the future. Dynamic pricing through Ticketmaster, which controls the world. Uh, if <laughs> there are 2,000 people in there going after 25 tickets, the price goes up. This is happening with Springsteen, who's getting just destroyed for it, and certainly he's responsible for it. But uh, look, it, what happens is you don't want the ticket at the price that's in there, so you go out. But you come back in because you're optimistic the price is going down. It's not going down, and the prices are through the roof. Of course, I bought for three shows anyway. <laughs> but 